All right, so I'm just making this quick tutorial because uh, I've been playing with this thing called Vocal Synth, um, and I guess it's kind of weird trying to get it set up to like work in Ableton. I followed some of the tutorials, but they don't seem to work. And um, I looked on different like posts and stuff online, and it seems no one really has the fix kind of like listed out. So this video is just showing how the workaround that I found out for it, and hopefully it saves you some time. So basically, what I guess I'll do is first just delete um, all of these tracks. I have an audio track. I'll rename this one Vocal. And then I'll just drag over the Vocal Synth in its own audio track. I'll just exit out of that for now. And then I'm just going to bring in some MIDI. I guess this tutorial, I should also say this tutorial is for... Uh, it's for the for the mini mode for the mini mode setup. That's mainly what I was having like trouble with. I'm just gonna click no on that. And we'll call this win. I'm just gonna call it synth. And this is just a track with uh with the vocal synth on it. Alright rearrange this and maybe I'll probably also like pull in a pull in a vocal la, la, la. all right something like that so first what you want to do is you want to go into vocal synth uh, click auto mode switch it to MIDI mode click accept uh, exit out. I'm not going to get into like really changing the settings. I'm really just trying to do this just to show how it works. So on the synth, you want to switch it to in. Um, click this top button where it says external in. Switch that to vocal. On the MIDI track, you want to have it on auto. Put the top up to synth, and then the bottom should automatically switch to vocal synth. And for the vocal track, you want to have the top set to uh, synth, and the bottom on track in, and then also make sure it's on auto. And hopefully, this should do the trick. And basically you just control the audio um, on this track, on the synth track, if you want to add any sort of effects, um, raise or lower the volume or do anything like that. And just, yeah, just update the MIDI however you want it. And hopefully that helps. It took me a little bit to figure this out, but yeah, hopefully this saves you some time. Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye.